So what's the commonality between all processes that are spontaneous? Now, some people right away would say, well, you know what, Cam got? I think I got it. Exothermic. If a reaction is exothermic, it's spontaneous. Well, it's not a bad start because when you look at, okay, here's an equation where the combustion of ethane right here is going to make CO2 plus H2O. If the delta H is negative 1,200 kilojoules or so. Hey, you know what? That is a spontaneous type of reaction. Sure, yeah. And so is the melting of water. You know that, well, if you take an ice cube and you put it out at room temperature, it's going to melt. That's a spontaneous chemical phase change, right? Hey, psst. When water solid turns into water liquid, energy is required to melt that solid into a liquid at about 6.03 or so kilojoules of energy. Hey, guess what? That positive in front is not a negative, right? That's an endothermic process, and it's spontaneous. Oh, no! Endothermic processes can be spontaneous, and exothermic processes can be spontaneous. Or maybe not spontaneous. Then how do you know? Then what is it? It's not thermicity then, is it? No, it's not. The, the exothermic or endothermic nature of a, of a reaction doesn't tell you if it's spontaneous or not. But here's what it is. It's this word here. Entropy. Entropy. This fascinating concept. This is the way that the universe works. This is the secret of the universe itself. Is that all spontaneous processes that occur naturally occur to increase the disorder, to increase the randomness of the entire universe. It's absolutely true. Processes occur to increase the randomness or disorder of the universe. <laughs> That's a cool concept. Now here's the thing. You look at this and you say, well how does that increase the, the entropy of the universe? Or that degree of randomness. Well, I've got to explain that to you. And how does this one do it? Well, that's going to be expa explained as well. But understanding this important principle is, is fundamental. And it's that every process that actually occurs will tend toward more chaos or disorder. And, and, and why is that the truth? It's because nature actually selects the the position of any kind of reaction where the most probability of existence occurs. The most probability of existence occurs. That's what nature wants. Now, what does that mean? Well, here's the thing. If I said to you, you've got, and this is a classic example of, of uh, this type of discussion. We have a, a, a glass tubing here and there's a little valve connected right here, right? And we can open that valve and we can let molecules that are on this side right here, then as we open the valve, travel back and forth. If you allowed that to happen, say, and these were all gas particles here and you filled up this side, you had nothing on this side, and you came back an hour later, what do you think you would see? Well, some of you are going to say, well, here's common sense to me. I get half the molecules on this side and half the molecules on this side. Let's say we had eight molecules in total. Well, I get half here, half here, or e easier to understand. If we had four molecules here, A, B, C, and D, what would you expect in the end? You'd expect probably two molecules here and two molecules here, right? Logically, you think, well, that's well, it's kind of equal. That's like an equilibrium. Well, things don't have to be equal at equilibrium. But here's why nature would actually choose this to be the equilibrium position. Because it has the most probability of existing. For instance, if you come back in an hour, is it possible that all four particles are going to be seen at any one time in a 4 to 0 relationship? Whether they're all collected on this side or this side? Yes, it's possible, sure. But it's not probable. Well, what about if you had three of these here and one of these here? How many different ways are there to arrange that? Well, if you had just A here, B here, C here, or D, it sounds like a three-to-one arrangement here would have how many possibilities existing? Four. This one would have one. This type of arrangement would have four different ways of being organized. You could put A here, B, C, or D. But how many different ways are there to put two particles here? Well, you know what you could have? You could have A, B, A, C, or A, D. 
you could have BC, you could have BD or DC here. Do you know what I just said? Six different ways of doing two and two. And because that one has the most probability of existing, the six microstates here instead of the four microstates or the one microstate, or the, yeah, all right, <laughs> then that means that nature chooses this to be the equilibrium position. And that's because it's the one that is the most, well, the most microstates, the most randomized state that there is. If you take a deck of cards, a deck of 52 playing cards, and I say, organize those from ace through to king, hearts, diamonds, clubs, spades. There's only one way of doing that and arranging that, right? But how many different ways are there to be able to arrange 52 cards in a deck of cards? Like 52 factorial ways, there's so many different ways. If I just spread them all on the floor and they were all there on the floor, and then I said, okay, pick them up in the order that I just described. Can you imagine having to, and, 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 and they're all turned over and you can't see the cards, and you pick one up and you go, oh, ace of spades, good, and then, oh, I got the two of hearts, now I've got to start all over again because I have to go ace, spades, diamonds, hearts, clubs, or something, all the way from ace to king. You will be there for an eternity doing it. Is it possible to be able to pick up those 52 cards in the order that I just described the very first time? You bet it is. It is possible. But it's not probable, is it? So nature chooses the most disorganized way of ordering something to be the state that it prefers for equilibrium purposes, to get to equilibrium. So, uh, you know, you can make the argument to your parents, well, look, you want me to clean my room and have it done a certain way. Well, that's only one way out of a billion different ways to arrange everything in my room. So I'm just letting nature take control and entropy to happen. Try that one.